the general Orange River region and surrounds in South Africa, um, we have quartz. What I find interesting about this piece is the two generational growth. You'll see there's an older crystal there with a younger formation across it. And also the color, it's almost a gray to, a, to an off green. Please note that I am a bit color challenged, but the color is a bit strange. Uh, also some grey to, to reddishness on some sections. So this would be the typical hematoid, ferruginous hematite included quartz. On a turntable you'd need to stand for this one, having going around like that. And then at the back you have a, a section of almost a milky quartz running across the matrix there. Uh, looking from the top down, so there we're back on that point. Let's look at the top down. There you'll see, for instance, a crystal which hasn't been given the second generation coating, which gives it this lovely bling. Then when we look into the, the quartz, let's go a little bit deeper, you'll see little specks of the, the, the black, the hematite included in these quartz crystals. All the way from South Africa, um, in the northern cape of South Africa, we talk of the Orange River region. This would be a vast, uh, well it's a vast river and uh, the sections we find these in would be intersecting between Namibia and South Africa. The exact provenance I'm not sure of on this one. When I talk provenance, I talk where it comes from, not who had it before. It was what I do, I actually clean and I trim a lot of the specimens. So the, the previous owner may not recognize it, or maybe it was just from Mother Earth.